Hello everyone and thank you for joining me today and you're probably thinking hang on a minute she's got a full face of makeup she's not doing a makeup tutorial today and you'll be right I'm doing a first impression well it's kind of first impression but I want to do a wear test of the new airbrush flawless setting spray now whenever I do a video of uh, about new products that come out i i said this in a comment to somebody just this morning i always ask myself if i hadn't bought this product what would i really want to know what would be my question and then i attempt to answer it and my question would be if i was contemplating buying this it says the airbrush flawless setting spray party all night stay all day well that rung a bell with me party all night stay all day where have i heard that before in terms of a setting spray and yes you got it urban decay all nighter setting spray and i think that would be the question i want to know is how does this compare to this and what is it like in terms of staying power? Now, I've looked up ingredients, and as I've told you before, I'm no chemist, right? I'm not Nadine Baggett either, you know? I can't really understand all the ingredients. But from the little bit of research I've done, I would say that there's the setting sprays, there's certain setting sprays and there's certain setting mists. And... Urban Decay All Nighter and Scandinavia tend to be the ones that are proper kind of hairspray on your face, helps your makeup stay on, right? Now, I don't know, when you get other setting sprays, like I've got a really good one from the body shop, it really kind of merges all your makeup, it makes it, your powder and everything look beautiful but it doesn't do anything to help it stick on who does one actually helps it to stick on it's crazy that one um but my question is what is charlotte's is charlotte's a kind of is it one of these that just makes your makeup look beautiful or is it one that's going to help your makeup really stay on longer um is it in the urban decay category or is it more your kind of mists that make your makeup just look more glowy so that's what i really want to know and as far as i as far as i've been able to research and please jump in and correct me if i'm wrong because i know a lot of my alley pallies are very knowledgeable about ingredients but i think it's something called pv that is in the ingredients pvp that is kind of your hairspray type ingredient <laughs> One second. Sorry about that. Parcel for Jack, a late birthday present. So, um, so that's basically what I want to know. So this has got PVP, which I think is the ingredients. This doesn't have it in, um, but let me tell you what's in Charlotte. So it says here, um, primes and sets for up to 16 hours. Instantly lock in your look for makeup magic that looks just applied. No melting, no fading, no creasing. Um, hold six to eight inches away and mist over entire face before and after applying makeup. Now, what I did is I did mist this over my face before I applied my makeup and I misted it over my entire face. All right. But what I'm going to do now is I am going to spray half of my face with Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and half of my face with the Charlotte Tilbury and I will come back in about six hours time and we shall have a look now what i'm gonna do to be fair because i know that this really does help things to stick on this eye is watering a little bit and this is a new product and it's a bit i i could swap it round and be really naughty but really eyes constantly watering is not really a fair test um, and I know Urban Decay will probably just help. I know that that will help. I'm not sure that this one will. So I'm going to do it that way round. 
But what I really want to see is it does it keep my foundation on? Does it keep my not very well applied highlighter on? <laughs> and there we go. And so on and so forth. Now, if you want to see what I put on today, please have a look in the description bar. If you like my kind of peacock greeny blue look um, and you want me to do a little tutorial on it, please do let me know. But all the details of my makeup they are down in the description bar. I nearly said downstairs. What am I talking about? Right, so let's get going with this work, shall we? And I'm just going to get a piece of A4 paper so that I can hold it up to half of my face and make sure I do this properly. Okay, to save on the environment, a piece of paper that I'm about to throw out um, in the recycle, of course. So Charlotte Tilbury is coming first. Okay, so let's spray half of my face. Smells beautiful. Right, I'm going to let that dry for a second before I take the paper away. And then we shall put on the Urban Decay. Right, I suddenly realised I'm right-handed, so Urban Decay is going to have a disadvantage. But it, if I swap hands to hold the piece of paper, I should be okay. That's better. All right, so let me just make sure that that paper doesn't curl because we need, let's turn it round. It's curled a bit with the wetness of Charlotte's setting spray. That's better. Right, let's spray this side now. Right, I think that's about the same amount. Now that smells more like hairspray and kind of, something sticky in it but I'm just going to let that dry down and I probably I was about six to eight inches away I think but it feels a bit weird with a piece of paper over half of my face okay there we have it right okay so we have I'm just going to let this dry down for a minute and we can have a look at what they both look like I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. Now, this looks a little bit more shiny and it feels a bit stickier. Charlotte's doesn't feel sticky, but it's still got shine, but not too much shine. I think that almost looks like too much shine. I don't know, but I have, a, it just feels like that's holding it on more, but it feels like that doesn't necessarily... This feels more like my skin still. Um, so let me just close close up on both sides. Urban Decay All Nighter. I did give a very generous spray because I really want to accentuate any difference. Probably wouldn't normally put that much on. And there is Charlotte's. Okay, so I'm going to just check on the time now and I'll be back in about six hours time and we can have a look and see which one has lasted the distance if or if both of them have or if neither of them have. I have no idea. I'm really excited to be doing this. So see you all later. Take care and I'll see you all in a while. Hello everyone and welcome back. As you can see, I'm now snuggled in my dressing gown and I'm doing a little um, check-in with you guys. It's now five hours since I applied this makeup. Now, I do need to tell you something in that this eye, as you can see, has been watering constantly. You see where my cheek's wet there? It has been watering constantly and my face is stinging a little bit. 
Now, there's two things that you need to consider about this. My eye was a bit watery before I applied the spray. Okay, that needs to be said. However, I do wonder if I am a little bit irritated by the spray. Okay, as well. I don't think that helped. It didn't help calm things down. Now, this eye has been itching as well, but it didn't start watering. Okay, so this, as you know, just to remind you, is the urban decay side. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury side. Now, I have to say two things that surprised me. Firstly, what surprised me is this glow that you get from the Urban Decay. But it's not a glow that I like. It sort of just feels like I've got glue stuck to my face. Um, it, it just feels a little bit unnatural. It doesn't feel like skin, sticky, dried stickiness. Um, now, to give it its good side, I think it's dealt very, very well with my watering eyes because if I didn't have that on I think a lot more of that foundation there's a little bit of a patch there but a lot more of my foundation would have come off so I think if you've got watery eyes it is very good but the question would be does it actually exacerbate the situation and I think it probably did I think it's got a lot of, it felt sort of very hairspray when I put it on my my face, okay? So I, I don't think it helped my watery eyes, but it has helped the foundation stay on. As you can see, look, there's a little tear running there. You see that? And it's just going straight over the foundation. Foundation isn't coming off. So, you know, it is, look at that. It is waterproof and it has held on, you know, it's even held, considering I've got very hooded lids and my eyes have been watering, that isn't bad. So in terms of the longevity, I would say that's pretty good. Now, Charlotte Tilbury's, now what surprised me about this is I wasn't expecting it to be very good at keeping makeup on i i expected it to give me a nice glow i expected it to make the best of my makeup but i didn't think it was going to be as good at holding makeup on and i was wrong it is it's very good and i absolutely love this side it f still feels like my skin it doesn't feel like i've got hair lacquer stuck to my face it still feels like me. This doesn't. This feels... Can you can you see what I mean? There's like this sort of film. Now, maybe I'll be told by somebody that I should have sprayed it further away from my skin. But I would say that I sprayed both sprays, both sprays about the same. And this feels like a film of something that stuck to my face, whereas this just feels invisible. That If I do that, it's still, yes, you can see the folds, but that's folds of my skin. That just feels like my skin. Whereas if I do that this side, can you see what I mean about the, the sort of layer that's kind of stickiness? So even though I may have sprayed it too close, I may, may, may have gone a bit further away. It should have gone a bit further away. I did actually spray both. The distance was the same between both sprays. Um, now, I wouldn't pay too much attention to the eyeliner uh, because that has obviously been affected by a very watery eye. And I think it has been constantly streaming. And what I've been doing is just getting a very... Um, a, a dry cloth and just pressing it to just get rid of the wetness okay um, and this side has not been watering but it hasn't been irritating me either so I do think now in terms of the eye makeup again there's a little bit of a crease 
in my eye makeup. But that is quite usual for me because if you see, when I close my eyes, my eyes are very hooded. And to actually get one that doesn't crease at all after that amount of time is very unusual. Um, I'm preferring this side to this and I did right from the start. Now, as you know, I have been putting out um, a survey on Instagram and I'm going to put the results here um, at the end of this video. And I'm really excited to tell you which side was which. You may have already worked it out, um, but if not, I shall announce that very shortly. And I'll come back later after I've picked my other half up from the station because he's been to London for the day. And then I'll get this video uploaded and I can't wait to see the final results on Instagram. I hope you have been voting and if you have, thank you very much. And it's been really interesting. I love to get your view because then I get complete impartiality. Um, I don't tell anyone, um, you know, I haven't told anyone what the results are. Sometimes on one occasion I did discuss it with Rebecca, but I haven't today. Um, I haven't discussed it with anyone, even people that have been messaging me. I've said, wait and see. So um, you'll, you'll only really work it out when you watch this video and this is not going out yet. So anyway, I'll stop whittling on and I'll catch you all later and uh, see you very soon. Bye bye. Mwah. No lipstick on, of course, because I've just eaten. But never mind, lipstick always comes off. Still a little bit there. Okay, bye-bye. See you soon. Hello everyone and I'm back and it's now eight hours since I applied this makeup and I thought I'd do my final check-in. So this was the Urban Decay side, this was the Charlotte Tilbury side. I think they've both done a really good job of keeping my makeup on. Obviously I've reapplied my lipstick. Um, now I think one of the things is when I applied, I do tend to do that, which is probably not good because it doesn't help um, this because the spray doesn't get on to the bit that creases. But this side has creased a little bit more. But as I said, I tend to do that. And I think looking back, I did do that. Right, but this is the Urban Decay side. I think, considering my eye has watered, stop watering now, but for a large part of the day, my face looks very shiny. Now, just to let you know, my face is not oily. It's just because I am sitting under my lamp. It's not oily at all, okay? It's because I'm sitting under a very glaring lamp and it's dark outside. So, um, just in case you think I look super oily, I, I'm not at all. Okay, my it's dry to touch, totally dry to touch, nothing there. Right, you see my hand looks shiny now, so you're not going to believe me, but believe me, it's dry to touch. Okay, so Charlotte Tilbury, I, I just continue saying what I've said. This feels tight, it feels a bit uncomfortable, it feels a little bit like it's pulling on my skin. Look that sort of this feels like my skin still feels like my skin it feels more skincare this feels more makeup set okay now i wanted to show you something else i just need to get it because it's now under a pile of stuff that um my other half brought back from london so i'm just going to get that and i'll be right back 
This to me sums up everything and this is a co totally coincidental test. But as you remember, I use this piece of paper and I checked back on the video and I also remember that a little bit of my foundation came off on this side when I used it. Now, let me just, I'm gonna have to move so that I've got the stand. This paper, this side of the paper is hard and crinkly, right? It's gone stiff paper. And that's where I sprayed the Urban Decay. This side still feels like paper. And I think that kind of sums up what I'm saying about how my skin feels. Um, that this feels like hairspray, this doesn't. Um, this has something that makes your skin feel like it's kind of tight and it obviously hardened the paper but it is very waterproof and it held up well to my eyes watering and you know I I was aware that I was being a little bit unfair to Urban Decay because I knew that that side of my eye was watering and I knew that it would be waterproof and Charlotte Tilbury's does not hasn't had the same kind of eye watering all day to contend with okay but as you know you've all been voting all day and I am going to post the results here and then I'm going to divulge to you which was side A and which was side B just in case you you haven't already guessed from this video Okay, so you can see from that that after three hours, 73% of you said that you preferred side B. And then after five hours, 76% of you opted for B. And um, then I asked you if any of you had changed your mind and some of you had, which was also interesting. So I'll put all the results here. Um, the one about the people changing their mind and also on Instagram. Um, but side B was, drum roll, I haven't got that on my audio. So you'll have to imagine a drum roll. Side B was Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, so you, what a great um, confirmation of what I'm saying. You know, I love Charlotte Tilbury and... I'm always aware that I might have an unconscious bias, but it really does, trust me, it feels better, it looks better, it feels like my skin, and I think it's worked really well. But all fair and good, this was very good at waterproofing my watery eyes, and I think it stood up really well to that. Um, so that is the wear test, and I hope you've enjoyed it. And I will now get this video out as soon as possible because I know my Ali Pallies are dying to know and so are all of you that are following me on Instagram. So take care, have a lovely evening and I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.